Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about um, what you could call the four magical chords of pop music or, or rock music or pretty much any music that makes it to the top of the charts. Um, those four chords are C major, G major, uh, A minor, and F major. We call them the one, five, six, four, because it's it's the it's the degree uh, compared to um, to C. It's C is one, then G is five, because it's five notes. Uh, well, it's 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 the fifth note starting from C. Uh, F is the fourth note starting from C, and um, A is obviously the sixth note starting from C. But uh, what's interesting is you can you can take those four chords, but you can also put them in different orders, and they tell kind of a different story. Uh, let's see what happens if I go uh, one six four five instead of one five six four. Or I could go one four six five like that. This one is actually, you know, the, the <laughs> it gives this kind of a feeling. But still, uh, we go with those chords, you can put them in different orders, but there's always some, why doesn't it get boring? Why do we keep liking it? Um, one of the reasons is cultural. I mean, different cultures like different, uh, different cadences that's what, what these are called um, um, but yeah <clears throat> another thing of course that plays a role in it not being boring is the melody you know Something like that. And this is different. It tells a different story. Another thing that tells a different story is the tone you give to it. If I go... It tells a different story than the one I told previously, just because of the tone I give it, I, the colors. I can give colors to music in, by, 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 by pressing, the, the, by, by using rhythms, by also using different arpeggios, by... If I go like this, I mean, I could stick to... I can also play with my left hand and, and, and add some, some other notes that are not part of the main chord. And all those things make it feel a bit more rich, a bit more magical. Uh, that's awesome, right? And then, once you actually kind of get a hang of all this, you can really start fooling around on a piano without having to, to touch all any of the black notes. You just know that you're gonna do this on the bass notes, and you can kind of fool around and, and make something that people might like, might think, oh, that's such a great piano player. Wow, what a great composer. But you're just improvising.
Something that people like is this. The trills. And another thing people like is this. Make a bridge now and go to a, a D. Let's go back to the C. Of course, I kind of, I, I have some musicality. I, I'm used to playing the piano. I can arpeggiate on the left hand, but I don't think about anything. I just, all the only thing I think about is this. And that's why it's magical. And the, the, one, the one, one reason why music uh, can, can kind of stay in that paradigm. Um, now, if you play jazz, for example, now it's going to be completely different because jazz doesn't rely on this uh, one, five, six, four. It goes two, five, one. It goes like this. And everything in jazz is written around these two things and then modulates to different um, tonalities, which pop music does less, but still you do modulate in pop music. But anyways, that was my little video on the four magic chords and why it's so fun. So um, instead of going like, yeah, boo, it's all the same four chords all over again. Yes, that's how music is made, dude. Just go on with it. it it's nice. Just, just learn to love it. I love it anyways. What do you think?